Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to the story of Mariam Bint Imran, Mary. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al-Imran are from the descendants of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Al-Imran are the family of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And that's the family of Zakaria alayhi salam and the family of Yahya alayhi salam. They are from the same family, the household of Al-Imran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah chose Adam, Nuh, the family of Ibrahim and the family of Imran above all people, offspring one of the other. And Allah is all hearer, all knower. And one day the wife of Imran, she used to pray. These were very pious people, very, very pious people. The wife of Imran, he, she, she used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, never losing hope. It is reported that one day she saw a bird giving a little bit of food bringing some food and flying in to feed the little chicklet and when the bird put the food into the beak of its little baby and the wind blew it took its wing and it covered its own baby and she felt the desire to have a child at that age she said ya allah grant me a child ya allah we are serving you this is my husband he is leading the people in prayer and so on. Ya Allah, bless us with some goodness. And she continued praying. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded her call. But she had made a promise. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Remember the time when the wife of Imran had conceived. She then made a pledge to us to say, Ya Allah, I am dedicating the child who is in my womb for your service completely. The child will not be doing anything else besides your service. Specifically, that means that this child will serve in the masjid. Which masjid? Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. In that time, they used to have men. They were devoted to the serving of the masjid. The wife of Imran, she was not thinking in terms of dunya at all. She wanted her child to go to the service in the Masjid Al-Aqsa. When she delivered her child, she said, Oh my Lord, I have given birth to a female child. And females were not traditionally allowed to serve in the masjid. It was only for men. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah knows better what she delivered. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And the male is not like the female. What does this mean? This means that whatever male you would have delivered, that male will not be better than the female that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Because the female that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you is the best of the woman in the world. She doesn't know, but Allah knows better. All what she knows is that she delivered a female. But Allah knows who this female is. And this female is Maryam alayhi salam. The wife of Imran, she is saying, I have given her the name Maryam, Mary. Who was this Mary? The mother of Jesus. May peace be upon him. She was now born. And this is what her mother had said. Subhanallah. I have given her the name Maryam. And Ya Allah, I seek your protection for her and for her progeny. For her offspring to come from shaitan the accursed. It is reported that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, When a child is born, shaitan comes and poke the child. He's jealous. So the child cries. So this is the, the interpretation religiously of why the child cries as soon as they're born. Obviously, from a medical aspect, there are other reasons, but the child is pricked. There were two, only two, whom that did not happen to. One was Mary and one was Jesus. Maryam, alayhi salam, may peace be upon her. And the other one was Isa, alayhi salam, may peace be upon him. Because the mother had already asked Allah to protect them from shaitan and Allah gave them that particular dua. The only woman mentioned by name in the Quran is the mother of Jesus. 
The only woman that has a chapter named after her in the Quran is the mother of Jesus. What an honor for her that Allah told her, you are the greatest woman that Allah has chosen over all of the world. What an honor that we as Muslims have to believe. Now what had happened? There was a problem as she was born. There was a problem in that whilst she was pregnant, the father passed away. Who was the father? Imran. The Sheikh, the great Sheikh, he passed away. When he passed away and the child was born an orphan. So Maryam was an orphan. Mary, may peace be upon her. She wanted to fulfill the promise for the child. There was a debate who should take care of this child. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you were not there when they had this debate and they drew lots as to who should look after this child Maryam, who should bring her up, under whose care. So the priests and the others, the religious people and the pious, they said, no, we all want. Each one was claiming the right. Let us draw lots. What happened? When they were quarreling, who should take care of Maryam? Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained for one man out of the whole family to take care of her, which is Zakaria alayhi salam, who was the prophet of the time. The majority of the scholars say that Maryam is the sister-in-law of Zakaria. Some other scholars say that she is his niece. So there is a bit of a difference of opinion here. But we know that they are relatives. You know what Zakaria used to do? Zakaria used to be the Imam of the house of Allah. And he used to spend the majority of the time there. And in order for him, to take care of Maryam, he had to place her with him all the time in the house of Allah. Now there was something strange. They had kept her as she was growing up in the room known as a mihrab, is a little corner of worship. Every time Zakaria alayhi salam went there, she was engaged always in acts of worship, in remembrance from a very, very young age. And she used to clean and she used to keep the place tidy. And she was a person who was dedicated for the service of this place of worship. Very, very pious woman. Woman of the highest levels. But she was still a young girl. Every time Zakaria alayhi salam went, he would find something amazing. She had fruit that was not from the season they were in. So the fruit of summer was found with her in winter as fresh as ever. And the fruit in winter was found with her in summer as fresh as ever. And these are the things that were happening frequently. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whenever Zakaria would go and visit her, he would find with her risk. So it's not once or twice. It's many times, frequently. And she is there in the room and this risk is coming to her. So Zakaria alayhi salam asked her, where is this risk coming from? He is wondering, who is bringing you this? I am the one who is taking care of you. And this is strange because this fruit it's impossible to have in Jerusalem in this time of the year. What was the response of Maryam alayhi salam? She said, this is from Allah. And then she told him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the ones he wants without any limits. She is giving him this wonderful lesson in risk. See what she said. Allah will give you without any limits. Allah gives sustenance to whomsoever he wishes without account. Allah doesn't take into account that it is summer and it is winter. If he wants, he can give you anything. Now these were miracles that were happening at the time. What makes Maryam so special, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that she's an example for those who believe, wa Maryam abnata Imran. He doesn't say Maryam, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon him. He just says Maryam abnata Imran. What is the wisdom of that? That Maryam's greatness is not necessarily tied to Isa alayhi salam. She's not just a woman who's great because she happened to be the mother of a prophet. She's recognized as a woman who perfected her faith as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned her. She was great because of who she was. And in fact, her name is even mentioned more than the name of Isa ﷺ in the Quran because of how great she was. And this young girl loved to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This woman ate, you know, breathed, drank the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even as she was a young girl. And so Zakaria Islam would come, find her in ibadah, find her worshiping Allah all the time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about various miracles that occurred when she was still very young, as she was being prepared for something very, very great to happen. When she was still quite young, growing up, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a message to her via the angels. And the angels told her, O oh Maryam, Allah has chosen you. O oh Maryam, Allah has chosen you and cleansed and purified you and made you above all of the women of the world. So the greatest woman to ever walk on the face of this earth is the mother of Jesus and that is Maryam alayhi salam. Allah has made you one who will worship him alone. So you are pure in every way, purified in your reputation, purified in your character and conduct, but above all purified in your worship. It will not be rendered for anyone besides your maker. Therefore, O Maryam, we want to inform you and instruct you submit for your own Rabb, the one who made you and find yourselves from the ones who bow down and from the ones who are prostrate solely to their maker. So Allah says, this is the news and the information of the unseen that we are giving you. We are telling you the true version of the story of Mary and Jesus and Zachariah and John and so of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after some time, she continued to worship Allah and she was very pious and she had her place of worship. There was a partition between her and those who would come from her members of her family. She was in her own corner. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And mention in the book, Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place towards the east. And she took in seclusion from them a screen. Then we sent to her one of our angels. And he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. And as she is there by herself remembering Allah, a beautiful man comes, a perfect symmetrical human being. Jibreel Islam, Allah describes Jibreel Islam as a perfectly symmetrical human being. She realizes she's all alone and this beautiful man comes. And before he can even speak, she looks at him and says, minka in kunta I seek refuge in Ar-Rahman the most merciful from you if you have any consciousness, piety or fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he, the angel said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. And she said, how can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been? Well, so far the video is interesting. I want to ask something. Some of you know better than me. Some of you are just watching this for the first time as I am. How do you tell when you come across videos? How do you tell um, this is the actual truth or this is just um, what can I say? I mean, stories have different versions. How do I know this version is the truth? That version is not the other version could be or could be holding some truth, how do I differentiate when I'm reacting, when I'm watching and I don't know. I would really, really love to know because you can sit here, listen to this. People speak in a way that they'll convince you. So how do I sieve out or seek out the truth? But anyway, the internet is full of um, a lot of information and yeah, just help me out guys. Otherwise, I mean, it's like Jesus wasn't the first miracle um, Mary experienced. The fact that all these fruits were being provided. I was actually going to ask where the fruit was being, was coming from until the person narrating this said it was from Allah. Otherwise, one thing I'd have to agree with is God is going to bless those that he knows deserve it should i say deserve and he's going to bless you in, not in small portions but in huge portions however your blessings comes so far that's all only thing that i want to comment on also one thing i wanted to talk about is that i'll be reacting to this video in parts because it's like an hour's long so do you guys want me to do everything or I just do a bit of it? So far I've done 12 minutes. The next is going to be 12 minutes as well. So let me know what you guys think about the video, about how I should react to it. And yeah, I'll be more than glad to get your feedback. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.